Hello, I'm Gail Banks. I'm here at the NHRA Motorsports Museum, and I'm here to talk about turbocharging. Here I want to show you turbocharging and intercooling. This engine harnessed the energy coming out of the exhaust ports and to drive a turbine in this turbocharger. And once through the turbine, here's your exhaust out to the world. So you've done some work with that energy, and that work drives the compressor Air is in, inducted up here to keep out of the spray because you're race, racing in water. Goes into the compressor and it's compressed, forcing that denser air in. There is no intercooler here, no charge air cooler at all. Because the methanol, when it evaporates, when we inject the methanol, it evaporates and absorbs so much heat that you really don't need an intercooler. So here you have the elements of turbocharging right before your eyes. We're taking waste energy, we're making air density, we're putting in a fuel that cools, and we're making 2,000 horsepower in 1974. This is the Banks Twin Turbo GT Firebird. Our company has held the world's fastest door slammer numbers for a number of decades. Starting in the late 70s with a Studebaker, we ran 232 with a five liter turboed engine, and then with a 68 Corvette, we ran 240 in 1980 and uh, then we built this Firebird. This is an 82 body style but the particular car here is the last car we ran. This is an 87 Pontiac GTA. And at 283 miles per hour it became the world's fastest door slammer. It uses the same turbochargers that were on the marine engine we looked at earlier, that alcohol engine, only this is gasoline. And the major difference here is, rather than fuel injected, it has two carburetors, which are pressurized, and it has intercooling, which is cooled. The intercoolers are cooled with 200 pounds of ice in the tank at the rear of the car. You're intercooling with ice water. This really gives you air density. Charge air cooling or intercooling takes a variety of forms. It can be air to air, as we do with a lot of our diesel truck engines and some of our uh, motorsports stuff for cars, or it can be liquid coupled, which this is, where you've got another radiator in the nose cooling the water and then the water circulates through what's on the engine. We did that with the Cyclone project, the GMC all-wheel drive turbocharged V6 Cyclones were liquid coupled uh, charge air cooling. And then this one, which is pure race, and you just melt hundreds of pounds of ice in five miles. It brings the air temperature down to about 53 degrees from 400 and something coming out of the compressors.